Hello everybody and welcome to Homestead Where You Are. My name is Janet and today we are going to be participating in a collaboration hosted by Natasha at the Budget Preppers called May It Last. It's all about getting your uh, foods, preserving them or doing something to them so that they will last as long as possible. Uh, it could be canning, could be dehydrating, could be freezing, could be all kinds of sorts of things. But anyway, so I don't know about you guys, but we are now just a family of two, and neither one of us eat a whole lot. So there are certain meals that no matter what you do, you just can't make a small amount. Now I'm talking about things like uh, certain soups or stews or even things like spaghettis and stuff like that. Chili verde, which is what I'm going to be making for you today. It's just nearly impossible to make a small amount. So what I have learned to do is I go ahead and make a large batch of these types of items and I do it on purpose. And depending on what it is, sometimes before it's cooked all the way, I will go ahead and can it up, or most of it, take out what we will use for dinner on that day, and can the rest of it. Uh, sometimes I wait till it's completely done. just depends on what it is. And again, I will throw it in some jars, usually uh, pint-sized jars. That way, if only one of us wants to have that particular thing, we can. Um, and I throw it in the pressure canner so that we will have that meal for you know, usually months for us. Uh, for instance, I canned some chili beans. Um, I made them for uh, for the Super Bowl, actually. And we ate them that day and a few leftovers the next day. But I purposely made a big roaster full. And after it was all said and done, I threw what was left inside some pint jars and threw them in my pressure canner. And I had... I believe it was 16 or 17 pint jars on the shelf for future use and won't need to make chili again for quite some time even if we're in the mood to have it. So anyway today I'm going to be making some chili verde. Now I did not show the actual canning process. Uh, most of you guys know how to can things. If you don't there's a million videos out there. I even have some videos out there. Um, I will tell you that since this has meat in it, you process in a pressure canner uh, pint-sized jars for 75 minutes, quart-sized jars for 90 minutes, uh, and that was what I did. So I'm going to show you the process I went through to make this chili verde. And I do want to point out that Natasha will have a drawing on June 3rd where she will be drawing for a $50 Amazon e-gift card. And in order to uh, be eligible for the drawing, you need to be a subscriber of the channel and fill out the form, entry form, which I will have linked in the description below. Now essentially what I have done is I have browned my pork, in this case I used a pork roast, in the skillet and tossed that in a crock pot. And then I have, I'm browning my onions with some minced garlic, some oregano, some cumin. And now I'm going to toss that in the crock pot. All right, now I'm just going to put the lid on this and let it start cooking down a little bit more while I prepare the rest of the ingredients. All right, so we're going to spray the pan a little bit just to keep these peppers from sticking. These are some poblanos 
then I'm just going to half and then cut out the core and the seeds and I'm just going to lay them down on this sheet All right, now I'm going to do pretty much the same thing with some serranos. And you can use jalapenos. The recipe actually calls for jalapenos. But my husband and I are not too keen on spicy. So we use the serranos because they're a little milder. And again, I do cut out the seeds and the, the pithy part inside so that we're left with nothing but the pepper. I'm just going to use a spoon to scrape that out, and I'm going to lay those on the baking sheet also. And I'm going to put this sheet pan in the oven on uh, 500 uh, for approximately 10 to 15 minutes. Just keep an eye on it. You're just trying to brown it a little bit. Uh, make these a roasted pepper. This is exactly why I like to do the big batches like this and then go ahead and can some of it up because this is a, a long process. Something like this from scratch can take quite some time to make. And this way I only have to do it once to have, you know, sometimes 10 or 12 meals out of it. And now we're going to start the tomatillos. Just going to cut those in half and lay them cut side down on the sheet pan because we're going to roast those a few minutes also. And I'm just kind of thinking ahead right now, getting my chicken broth ready. All right, you can see those are just browned. I'm going to stick them, the poblanos, inside this Ziploc baggie. I'm going to blow it up a little bit and uh, put the seal it up. If you let those sit in the bag for just a few minutes, it helps the skin to come off a little better. That was the serranos I had stuck in the blender with a little bit of the broth. And I'm just going to peel the skin off of these. It comes off pretty easy after you let it steam in the bag for just a minute. So basically all I'm going to do now is I'm going to add these peppers into the blender and I'm going to blend them up really, really good to make the chili verde sauce. And I'm going to dump it over the pork and onion that we already have in the crock pot and then I'm just going to let it soak, slow cook for several hours. And again, like I said, um, in this case, the next morning, I took what we had left and I put it in some jars and I canned them so that we have them on the shelf. So I'd like to say thank you to Natasha for inviting me to this collaboration. I had a lot of fun with this. And if you like this video and you want to see more like it, 
uh, make sure you hit the like button and subscri subscribe to the channel so you can see what other videos get posted out there. Make sure you hit the notification bell so you'll know when new videos are posted. Just blending it all up. And as always, I really do appreciate you guys for taking the time to hang out with me. See what I do in my kitchen. And there it is, all mixed up and ready to cook down. I hope I see you guys on the next one.